Gaslight. Gatekeep. Girl boss. In today's video, I'm going to win a diplomatic victory for you all. But by making the AI into thinking I'm a nice, perfect, peaceful person. When in reality, I was the biggest bully of all time and bullied my way onto the UNC and forced everyone to give me a shiny medal that said, Yes, good job. You are Mr. Peace. You have achieved it. You definitely earned this medal. <laughs> With help from the r slash civ subreddit, specifically user Salty Warly, today I'm going to do just that. I'm going to achieve a Diplo victory, but I'm going to do so without building the Statue of Liberty or Patala Palace. And in order to achieve it, I have to be the biggest bully of all time. Denounce the AI? No way. Declare surprise wars? I would never. Break my promises to the AI? I've never broken a promise in my life. But Bose, if you're not building the Statue of Liberty, how are you going to gain Diplo points? Well, if you don't want to be gaslit yourself, you're just going to have to find out. This game is played on a huge continents map on epic speed without the BBS mod, so if you do want to play it, I have the turn one start in my Discord, which you can find in the description. But before I become the gaslight gatekeeping girl boss, that is Theodora of Byzantium. Wait, what is that noise? Oh, oh, it's just Dave. Dave, what are you? <gasps> he's been upgraded and he's reached his goal of 50,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh, Dave. Dave is so grateful of all of you to getting him to 50k, and he just he just wants to show off his new upgrade, a shiny new particle beam siege cannon. But he still has a bit to go to reach his goal, so could you subscribe to help him gain some reinforced armor plating to defend himself on the tough road ahead? Would you kindly help him out? Alright, oh! Wonder start. Okay, I'm playing this one. I don't care. Yell at me in the comments. I don't. I don't care. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, I think I'm gonna settle here actually, on top of the copper, and then we'll do a holy site next to Mato, right there. I guess. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's also let's do a little scouting actually first. Now. The Reddit post did a one district, one city game. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do only one district, but uh, I'll, I'll determine that later on. Uh, we are for sure getting a government plaza. I don't really count those in these games, but that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. Settle time, there's error score from settling next to Mato. And then we're gonna go right into scouts. Now, since the Redditor did this, I'm gonna- <laughs> I said Redditor, that sounds so funny. Uh, we're gonna go Amani this game. Amani and Victor only. I'm not sure why, but that's what we're doing. No, no Pingala. Hatusa first meet. Amani's going right in. Thank you. Give me something good. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I'll take that. It's not that big of a deal. It's not, like, incredible, but whatever. Ooh, I do like this, however. Rapa Nui first meet. We do love culture. Okay, and another tribal village. That's nice. I haven't played BBS in a while. I forget how close the CS spawn to you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, that's real close. Good thing we're playing OCC. All right, give me, give me something delicious, something moist, something critical. Oh, okay, I mean, state workforce, that's fine. It's, uh, it's not the end of the world, but I'll take it. Then we the what? Oh, Gobust? Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. We soothed Hatusa. We found Gobustan as well as another tribal village. Okay. Now we switch Amani into Rapa Nui so we can get more era score. We're going to be using Amani for era score printing this game. Oh, the Dutch. She's so close, too. Ooh, it's time for our first gaslight victim. I mean, our first neighbor definitely would never. I would never do that to her. Uh-uh. All right, let's grab that tribal village, the one that was down here. Come on. Give me... Oh! Okay, I'll take that. Free builder. Give me a farm. Three. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't believe in. Oh, sorry. Wrong quote. <laughs> Wrong quote. All right. Let's go into our holy site immediately. Plus four holy site. Definitely. Oh, yeah. This is such a good star. Definitely. Got no, uh, nothing not to do with the wonder at all. <laughs> oh, there's another travel village. Okay. Don't take it. Oh, you. It's fine. 
It's fine. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. And then, and then you denounce me afterwards? Just like that? That's what you do? Is this how it's going to be? All right. All right. All right. What's in here? Oh, okay. Sure. If there are no, if there are no dogs in hell. <laughs> Sick horses, bro. Uh, we'll turn that to horses eventually, but for now, we're just going to leave it as a farm. Pantheon time. Now, I actually thought about taking God of War here, considering we're going to be killing a ton of units so we can just stack the faith, but because we have so many marsh tiles in our capital, I think, I truly think that we need to take Lady of the Reeds and Marshes this game. I mean, plus two production from marshes. That gives us a ton of three food two production tiles. Come on, look at this. How can you not? Look at that. How easy. Easy. And then finishing our holy site gives us a breathtaking holy site. That's plus three era score. And horses. I'm now a horse girl. Wait, don't don't quote me on that. Now I'm getting slingers out because well well I mean it denounced me, uh, but also I do want to bully her. A lot. I mean sorry, uh, defend myself. Absolutely never would I bully her ever. I would never do that. Let's see. Oh, another tribal village. Okay. And then Wu. Oh. I might have to bully you too. I mean, sorry. Well, I didn't say anything. Did you hear me? I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about? I think you're hearing things. Now, I don't need these horses, so here, you take these. Yes. Thank you. Okay, I'm sure. 30 faith. Why not? <laughs> sure. Now, I do have a lot of gold saved up, but I think I'm going to use this to buy a warrior from the Barb Clan. I'm going to go clear that outpost up there. But I'm also, I am a little scared of Vilhelmina. We sued Rapanui a little while ago, so let's move this into Nanmadal. I want the Golden Age. Give me the Era score. What are you... I wonder what you're doing there, Vilhelmina. I, I, I cannot. There's no way I'd be able to figure that out. Uh-uh. I should probably call an ambulance. But not for me! Vilhelmina, I'm so grumpy. <laughs> All right, was this a mistake? <laughs> That's a lot of warriors. Was this a, nah, it wasn't a mistake. I never make mistakes, right? I'm perfect. Agoge is going in. We're gonna print a bunch of units. Oh, is that, is it Dave time? I think it is. We have two points. Let's get Victor first. Well, let's go into political, but yeah, let's grab Victor first. We want the defensive combat strength and then it's time. For Dave. Hello, my friend. You are here. What? I didn't do anything. <sighs> Hello? What the hell? <laughs> I'm gonna throw up two units killed? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna do it. This is it. I'm gonna do it. This is gonna be the time. I'm gonna do it. Sorry. I'm gonna do it. I guess we have archery now, so we can get some archers, but come on. No one expects the blizzard wizard. Pew! Pew! The defense of the ancients. We art thou thoroughly defended from the aggressive Dutch peoples. I did not declare war on her. Why would you say that? Why are you gaslighting me? Grab more units. Let's get some more archers. The ha ha, yes, 150 green. It's working. It is going exactly as I wanted to. Oh, hey, end of the era. New era. We have a new government. I think I'm going to take oligarchy here. I love the extra combat strength as well as the 20% extra experience. So it makes sense to go oligarchy here. And then, okay, we're doing fine on our religion. I still think I'm going to take Exodus here. I was going to take Monumentality, but we're not, we're going to be using all of our faith for other reasons. So we'll just take Exodus. It gives us extra great profit points once we get our religion anyways. So it's kind of nice.
Well, that's some nice fertile land you have here, Vilhelmina. It'd be a real shame, you know? You have been such a comfort to me, as loyal as my... What? As loyal as my what? Stay away from me, Varus. I'm actually going to put in Strategos here. Uh, I kind of want to get a great general. At least for scouting purposes, right? Just scouting. Pew! Pew! Oh, religion time. Yes. Everyone worship our lord and goddess savior. Jihyo. So the main surprise you're probably seeing here is warrior monks. Yes, we are going warrior monks. And you'll see why. Taxi? I mean, sorry. Taxis? Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. Give it. Give me. Give me your city. I want it. I want it. Give me. Now, I want as many grievances as possible. So we're gonna... Oh, 225 grievances? Yeah. Bye-bye! Everyone wave bye-bye! Pillage power. More faith. More. Bonk. Boink. Bonk. Bye-bye! This is so stupid. Bye-bye, city! More... <laughs> All right, with our government plaza done, I think I'm actually gonna grab TOA here. I do want the amenities. And then we do have a free promotion. I think what I'm gonna do is actually go into Embrasure here. I do wanna get the free promotion to units trained in the city. That's gonna be very important. Actually, I lied, hold on. We're gonna go into Warlord's Throne first. Now, the name of this game, you'll find out, is pillaging. Thank you so Vilamina, thank you so much for making this theater square just for me to pillage. You're so kind. Heavy chariot? More like heavy not not chariot. Heavy not Harry. Heavy not ch <clears throat> I don't know what that was. That was that was just I don't know. Something happened. Something took took over. I just I don't know. Goodbye, Utrecht. It was nice knowing you. Actually, I would say that it was not nice knowing you, but it that, that would be a lie. Now give me everything, Vilhelmina. Yeah, you should pay me, actually. Yeah, pay me. I didn't do anything wrong here. Pay me. Thank you. Warlord's Throne is done. That's another governor title, which gives us Embrasure. And we go right into Theology. The temple is bought. Right into Mahabodhi Temple. Super important. And that means all of our faith, you guessed it, is going right into warrior monks. The main reason why we wanted Embrasure so quickly is that the promotion of Twilight Veil vale with more warrior monks makes it that they are invisible to an enemy unless a unit is next to them. That means we can pillage the entire world even if we're next to city centers and no one will know. So good. I just want to see if I can bully... I mean, sorry, talk to her again. Ten turns? Okay. Faith buying important things here. You have been denounced! I mean, sorry, no. I, what are you talking about, denounce you? I didn't do that. Once more into the breach, my friends. This war isn't even about taking her city. I can't take it. It's an OCC. I just want pillages. I just want grievances. Look at 97 culture. Mm. So beautiful, so perfect. Okay, I, I do want a missionary, but this is actually for scouting. Like, for real this time. Oh, these monks? No, they're peaceful. Don't worry about it. Grievances! More grievances! I told you these monks are peaceful. I bring peace! Shout at me. Oh, I've got the hotkey bug. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right, back from reloading. Hey, we got our general. Now, I told you this is going to be for scouting only. Yes, just peaceful scouting. And now we have military training. This is super important. It gives us the raid policy card, which means all of our pillages are now plus 50%. It's also Suv Preslov. It's because, well, we got invoice. Oh, hey. 
I no, I'm Abraham Lincoln. I was like, oh, I'll take a quick break and record later. 24 hours later. <laughs> Uh, okay, hi, Ramses. What? What did I do? Oh, we should probably sell everything before Ramses denounces me too for no reason. Ooh, ooh. All right, give me, give me that gold. Give me that delicious. Yes. See, see, what did I say? Come on, I didn't do anything. Bonk, boink. Bye, bye, city. Bye, bye. Yeah, sure, why not? We don't need to be at war anymore. Oh! Hello, Wollen. Wollen? 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 Pillage everything. The name of this game is Pill- I'm just gonna pillage. That's all I'm doing. Pillaging, moving, pillaging. Look at that. Give me the health. Pillage- Oh, yeah. Come on. More! Ooh. Ooh. Don't- Don't- Don't step- I can't believe you've done this. All right, well, it's Medieval Era time. The real fun begins. All right, well, I guess I'll take Exodus here. We're basically just be spreading our religion a lot with taxes, so there's kind of no reason to take anything else. And it is the Medieval Era, which means it's World Congress time. Now, for this World Congress, you can usually get both of these specific votes every single time. For the first one, if you choose City Center for A, it usually passes like 99%. I don't think I've only seen it go once, something else. Then for B, or the second one, if you choose B and you choose production, minus 50%, that usually is what's chosen. I'd say it's like 80% compared to the first one being 99, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and choose both of these. There we go, we got both of them. There's two Diplo points. We're on the way. Yes. Pillage. Just pillage it. Do I pillage? Yeah, he dies, but I get culture, so that's important. <laughs> oh, hey! We get our second vampire! You will be known as... Evad. I am very original. Oh, is it? Oh, it's, it's happening! It's happening! Because the AI had at least 200 grievances against me before I declared war on them, and they have enough Diplo favor, they both made a military aid request, which we can participate in. Why can we participate in this? It's like, yeah, I'm war at you, but have some gold while I demolish your cities. <laughs> the main point that I care about is this. When you win the military aid request, you gain two Diplo victory points. So if I win both of these, I'll be at six Diplo points in the medieval era. Well, eight, because... I'm just about to finish Ma Bodhi Temple Seat. There it goes. And they passed. So we're <laughs> and it's only us and Abe. Okay, we've got we've got this. Let's go. Now we're also going to evangelize our religion since we built Mahabodhi Temple. And if you were paying attention earlier, you'll notice I didn't take Crusade and I'm just now realizing this. I am the best civilization player of all time. I also took mosques because, I mean, nothing else that really matters there, so... While we're here, let's just rack up some more grievances, eh? Bye-bye. And now we can go ahead and make peace, because we want to win the military aid request, and if you're at war, you start accruing in negative points, and we don't we don't want that. And you can see right here, we're at minus 400 right now with uh, Wuzu Tien, so <laughs> I don't want to go any further, so let's just make some peace. Oh yeah, vamp castles. Uh, let's just place it right here, and then we can undo it and then redo it once we start getting more improvements as we see fit. This is like the fifth time I've gotten the hotkey bug. I'm so annoyed at this. Okay, that's just uncalled for at this point. I'm giving you military aid. Come on. When I oh, I built TOA. I forgot I was doing that. Now, since TOA is done, and we don't have anything left to build, really, I'm going to be spamming send aid projects. They only take eight turns-ish to this point, and, well, we have... 31 turns, so we've got some time. Declaring war on Samarkand because, honestly, I'm waiting 30 turns for this aid request, and I'm bored, but also I like to pillage things. You know what, Abe? I don't like your face. 
Yeah. I said it. This is why warrior monks are so good. I'm invisible. No one can see me right now. Okay, that he moved his men at arms there. That doesn't count, okay? It doesn't count. Oh, your city flipped. Well, that's a real shame. This is the power of pillaging. Make sure divine right is lined up. It is. Give me the culture. Oh, the taxpayer. You know what? I'm I'm a benevolent neighbor. I'm such a good neighbor. Here, have it. Take it back, Vel. I mean, I just have this. Here, have this. Have it. 14 science? Who cares? Just pillage everything. <laughs> and this is how I'm getting warrior monks. Faith pillaging, buying a brand new one. It's just so good. To make sure I don't win a religious victory on accident. We should be fine, but... also think I might be doing a little... <laughs> doing okay here on Era Score, huh? Gosh, we're not even halfway through. Stop it. Hey. Oh, God, that's so rude, Abraham. Sheesh. This is a good example of the power of Twilight Veil. Vale. This warrior monk got away unscathed and was able to pillage because there's no units nearby him, which means he's currently invisible to Abe, even though I'm next to a city center. It has to be a unit. Nine turns left. How are we looking? Oh, 600? Okay. And zero right now. We'll be at a 200 next turn because we're about to finish this, so nice. All right, let's chop this. I'm also going to get Kilwaka Sawani, just because I, I like it. It's a good wonder. All right, another World Congress. Let's see. Okay, for our we're going to choose ourselves for the Grievances Resolution. This should pass because we're, I mean, super peaceful. And then the second measure, I'm also going to choose ourselves. I don't know if it's going to pass. It's usually 50-50, even if you put two votes in. So uh, it's kind of hard to say. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we got the Grievances one. That does give us an extra Diplo point, uh, but we don't have the... Didn't get the second one, but that's fine, because that means that we're at, I think, at nine Diplo... Oh, no, five at this point. And then once we win both of these military requests, we'll be at nine. Look at that. Oh, man. All right, 40 turns, and we just won both military aid requests. Now we should be at nine Diplo points. <laughs> Easiest game of my life. All right, we're done giving aid. That means it's time to to go back. To you shouldn't have settled here. I'm just, I told you this would happen. I, you shouldn't have done that. It's not my fault. There is, not there is nothing but a plank. I don't even want your capital, Vilhelmina. I just want a pillage. Hey, remember when I gave you back your city? Weird, huh? Well, we can make peace now. We've pillaged all of America, and there's really nothing else we need to do. Hey, Ramses. You're stinky. Kill Name a more iconic duo, Bose and building Kelwa Kesawani. We'll also use the envoys we got from that for soothing some city-states, like Nalanda here. Run! Oh, God. This guy! Oh, oh why, yes, I would love to just take all of my aid, Ramses, okay? Just take it all. Oh, thank you. So yeah, just take it. Here, take it. Okay, calm down, Philip. We're just teasing him. Hey, bud, can you not? I'm trying to be invisible here. You cannot see me. I am invisible. Try and find me now. Pillage. Pillage. Have y'all heard about K-pop? Let me tell you about Jihyo then. The Hallyu wave is real, guys. 
Well, there's nothing left to do here with Wilhelmina, so I guess we can just make peace. Give me your lunch money, nerd. You too. Cough it up. Give me your gold. Come on. Thank you. Next time you'll think twice before doing that again. Alright, how are we looking here now? Okay, we've got a little bit of a climb. But luckily we're stockpiling gold, so I mean, we sh should be fine. Minus 1800, you know, that's a lot. But I, it, it'll be it'll be okay. It'll be okay. I'm not worried. Oh, okay. Renaissance era already. Well, we're in the Renaissance era. I guess we're going to go Exodus again? I, think I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? Let's see. 28 turns. Minus 2400. <laughs> okay. I mean, we should still be fine, but... Uh, can we make peace yet? No. Well, on two turns. So let's stop working Kotoku in because there's kind of no reason to build it. And just work on uh, projects instead. Who sues? Who sues? Okay. I see. Here, uh, I guess we just go into Vilnius, right? Yeah. We need culture at this point, at least. Oh, okay. With that, we meet Tokugawa. All right. It's nice to see more leader pa oh, as well as Nadir Shah. Cool, it's nice to see that we have more leader pass leaders in here. Actually, it's the majority of leader pass leaders. <laughs> Doing a little scouty. Oh, hey, Lataro. Is that the last? I think that's the last one, right? Should be. Hey, Abe, your hat is dumb. What? But not yours, Ramses. No, yours is very, very cool. I would never make fun of it. I don't, I'm not going to make fun of it later for sure. Okay, 26 turns to go for minus 2,800. We can do this. We can do it. Okay, well, hi, Pachacuti. Obviously, Lotaro wasn't the last one. <laughs> what, okay, what the heck? Everybody hate me. I'm fed up with this world. Well, I think it's mathematically impossible for me to win this competition just by production. So here, have, have a gift. Have 2,000 gold, okay? Cry about it. Oh, okay. Hi, Fred. And Matthias. Okay, well, that has to be everybody. Okay, okay, minus 800, that's much more doable. Don't mind me, Abe. I'm just sitting here just getting science, pillaging for some culture. Oh, okay, there's Theocracy. That means we get Warrior Monks on a discount now, as well as the Wars of Religion card, which gives us plus four combat strength when fighting a non-religious unit of another Civ that follows a different religion, a.k.a. non gyo stands. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, I get it. I get it. You guys don't have to gang up on me. I get it. Calm down. What's all? Do you need some assistance, Abraham? Let me let me help you out, bud. It seems like you're having a little bit of trouble there. Let me give you some aid. Here, I'm giving you some aid. Here, take it. Take the aid. How does that feel? Do you like aid? Some more aid for you, Abraham. Do you feel aided enough yet? Hmm? Do ya? Oh, okay, we have faith. Gotta keep up with my warrior monks. My peaceful monks. Gotta keep up with them. Make sure everybody knows about Jihyo. Hey, Philomena. Listen to Twice America. Do it. Oh, you don't like K-pop Ramses? Too bad. Bonk! Here you go. Here, ha Egypt, have this back. I'm just very peaceful and a very generous person. Right? Right, Abe? You think I'm peaceful, right? All right, so we have about 10 turns remaining, and we've brought ourselves out of the negative, so we should be able to win this one. And for Abe, I believe we're at my... Okay, yeah, minus 2,000. I mean, that's fine. We have 27 turns left. Oh, a second. Okay, another World Congress. Uh, City Center should win easily, just like before. But this one's a this one's a crapshoot. I'm gonna do scientific. I don't I don't think it's gonna win. I rarely win this one. Okay, City Center won. I mean, I guess that makes sense. But that should be at should be at ten Diplo victory points, right? Oh, we're halfway there. Let's go. Easiest game of my life. Oh, 
Another? Velmina also requires assistance. I can do that for you. Yeah. Oh, and an aid request? Oh my gosh, that means we're gonna get... Okay, that's the same thing. That's... Oh, that's four more Diplo points. In 40 turns. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. I'm the biggest bird. Come on. Oh, there it is. All right. We won the one with Ramses. That means we're at 12 now. Oh my God. We're so close. We're so close. Thank you so much. I just thank you, Ramses, for being a nice continental neighbor. Sorry, Ramsey. This is just, I'm bored of playing next turn simulator, so nothing personal. Mm, speak about the beauty of horse. <laughs> Are you a horse girl, Nader Shah? He just loves horses. Don't don't hate on him. He just likes horses, okay? All I'm doing is send aid projects and buy warrior monks. That's literally it. That's all I'm doing for like 200 turns. Let's add a religious emergency to the group too. Why not? Let's do it. I don't even give a heck. Oh, what do we? Oh, there it is. That's the fight. Oh my gosh. Okay, if we win this one with China, that means that we're going to win the Diplo victory in 40 turns from this point. Come on, say yes. <laughs> okay, we win in 40 turns. Let's go. Would you take peace, madame? Yes, for 700. All right. I'll do it. I'm a nice guy. Same thing for Ramses. I think I've pillaged basically everything that I can, so there's kind of really no point in being six. Sure, whatever. There's no point in being at war with him, so let's just peace out. Two hours later, <laughs> uh, we just finished another military request, the Abe one, and now we're at another two Diplo points. Thank you, thank you. We're currently out at 14 out of 20. There's only six more left. Once we finish the China one, we win. All right, war declaration, pillaging by warrior monk, yada. You you know the drill. You know the drill. All right, it literally does not matter what we take here. Uh, I'm gonna take two arms, I guess. I I do want to boost nationalism, and in order to do that, I need to declare a war, a Cassus Belly war. So we might as well just take it, right? Hey, idiot face. Yeah, you. Let's declare a golden age war. Ah! Oh, third vampire? Don't mind if I do. Hello, uh, Dave. Dave the second. Let's go, warrior monk cores. It doesn't really matter at this point, but let's just get them. Might as well. Hey! That's not nice. Oh, they both finished. Oh, that's four more. We're at 19 out of 20 now, I think. It only means one more point is left. <laughs> that's right. All right, let's make peace now, Mr. America. Let's make peace. All right, once more, dear friend, for old time's sake. Okay, the final turn. I skipped ahead because, I mean, it, you, you didn't need to see me pillaging for for 40 turns. So come on, Abe. Do, I don't want your hat. Keep your hat. I don't want it. Here we go. Oh, come on. The green light. The final Diplo point. Is that I am the biggest bully of... I mean, sorry. I am the most peaceful person, yes. 
You are correct. In the times when you stood against aggression, you have always sought cooperation. I have always sought dignity cooperation. Was merely to brighten your own glory, but because dignity. Mm -hmm, I have so much ancients. dignity. And in so doing, you have proved that your ancient and eternal commitment to a shared peace will be the foundation of the world of tomorrow. I love the world of tomorrow. What an absolutely silly game. <laughs> this was, that's the only way to describe this game, is just silly. Uh, I want to once again thank the user Salty Worley on Reddit for making all of us aware that you could actually do this. I, had, I honestly had no idea that you could participate in the military aid request yourself. So once again, thank you Sar Salty Worley. I keep saying I want to say Sar Salty Worley uh, for doing this, laying out the blueprints so we could easily follow along because this is just... Really dumb. It was a lot of fun. Um, this wasn't an original idea at all for me. Like I said, it was uh, theirs. I don't want to like, you know, yoink and be like, you made this? I made this. So, <laughs> um, well, anyways, uh, I know this wasn't a typical Theo game that most people have been playing, but I thought, I hope you guys all enjoyed it nonetheless. It was just, I don't know, it was a really fun, silly game. And uh, I promise regular games are coming back soon, but I'm just having a lot of fun doing these challenge weird games. So if you do have some challenge ideas... Please leave them in the comments below, or you can post them in my Discord. I have a challenge channel in there, so uh, uh, hopefully I can do them. Uh, once again, you can also find the Turn 1 Save in my Discord. The link for that is in the description below. I do have a coffee and a Patreon. If you want to support me financially, you don't have to. There's no pressure, but uh, all of my content's free. With that being said, I do want to thank you all for watching once again, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye 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 now!